Good morning, my loves. How are you doing? If you're new here, Karibu sana. I go by the name Viviano Dembo, aka Fashion Guru Kenya, aka M Toto Wahoma Bay County. So today we are making the French crepes or as I call it, the Kenyan pancake. So as you can see there, I'm using a half cup of flour. Then I'm going to put in two tablespoons of sugar. That is what I'm putting it in right now, rather. So the ingredients are sugar, a pinch of salt, all purpose flour, egg, milk, and then I'm going to add a little bit of baking soda. So there I'm adding a pinch of salt. Now I'm going to add in a pinch of baking soda just to make my pancakes fluffy. In the crepes, they don't add that, but just a little twist, okay? Okay. So this is how it looks. I'm just going to mix the dry ingredients together very well before I put in the wet ingredients. Now I've set the dry ingredients aside, it's time for the wet ingredients which is the egg, vanilla essence, milk and water. So I'm going to break one egg inside there and then I'm going to put in a half a bottle top of chocolate essence. That is what I like, I like the chocolate essence. Taking the egg and the chocolate essence and we're going to add it into the flour or flour and we are going to add in the milk now what i did is i put a half a cup of milk and then filled it filled the other half with water so half a cup of milk half a cup of water we're going to pour that into the dry ingredients stir that until we get the consistency that we want when it comes to these crepes or the kenyan pancakes the butter or the ingredients are supposed to be lighter way lighter than the heavy pancake butter okay okay and then another thing that i added here was cooking oil one tablespoon of cooking oil <music> So we're going to stir that together until everything is mixed well. This is how the butter looks. Almost watery, almost watery, but not watery. Okay? Okay, so it's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's somewhere in the middle. Almost watery, but not watery. You understand? the butter is ready to be cooked uh, you can let it sit for 10 to 15 minutes something about breaking the gluten in the flour I don't know how true that is but now that we're ready to cook I'm just going to add a little bit of oil into my pan and then we start cooking I'm going to use this big spoon to pour the butter inside the pan I'm pouring it into a circular motion and then adding a few on the corners so that we make sure that the pancake is circular. Sour? Okay. Do that until you're done making the crepes and for the half cup of flour or flour I made six pieces of crepes. Please do stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm going to show you or tell you the differences that I saw between the crepes and the pancakes. Okay? 
Oke. What's the difference between crepes and pancakes? Truthfully, I don't see a very major difference apart from the ingredients. Now, in crepes, they put everything they put in pancakes apart from baking powder and baking soda. Basically, they cook, crepes is made the same way we used to make our Kenyan pancake. You understand? The same way we used to make our Kenyan pancake before we knew that we can put the baking soda and the baking powder in pancakes. That is how crepes is, is made. And then again, it is easy to fold. It is lighter. It is much slimmer. And the butter for crepes is way, way lighter. Like I've mentioned like a thousand times before. To me, that is the only difference. I asked my sister and she said she didn't see any different difference rather when it came to taste. Just the weight and the ingredients. Okay? Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on that notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Bye-bye.